Hey everybody, it's May 15, 2017, and this is the Chuck Baker vlog number 380, and it's a Monday, I survived the weekend, and I hope all you guys had a good weekend and got some rest. Um, I have six news stories to talk with you about today, so let's get to it. First one here is Powers Booth actor in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. dies at 68. Actor Powers Booth, known for his role in Sin City, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., and Deadwood, has died at age 60, his uh, publicist Karen Sam Flippo said. The Emmy-winning actor passed away Sunday of natural causes in his uh, sleep at his Los Angeles home. Um, he was a good actor. I uh, enjoyed his work. He was in a lot of TV shows and a lot of movies. And he's going to be missed by a lot of people, and my condolences to his family. Uh, next story here is uh, unarmed man dies after Las Vegas cops use stun gun and neck restraint. Uh, this man saw uh, some cops outside of a casino, and he uh, ran up to him, and he told him that uh, people were after him, that they were trying to get him, and... After he said that to the police officers, he started running again, and the uh, officers went after him. They caught up to him, and I guess uh, there was a struggle went on, and uh, they used a taser on him, and they used a, a hold called a neck restraint. Now, the article says it's not a choke hold, but it does restrict blood flow to the brain. After the man became unconscious... Uh, he had stopped breathing, and he was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. Now, obviously, there's going to be an investigation over this. I don't know uh, if the man was on drugs or if he had mental problems, but uh, if anything develops, I'll be sure and let you know. Uh, the next story here is Memphis, Tennessee man uh, fatally sets himself on fire on Facebook Live. A Memphis, Tennessee man set himself on fire on Facebook Live before running inside a crowded bar early Saturday and later died of severe burns at hospital, authorities said Sunday. Now this man evidently he broke up with his girlfriend and she was in this bar. So he gets on Facebook Live and lights himself up and then runs in the bar. Um, some people tried to uh, put the fire out and one uh, man was injured. Not severely, he's expected to recover, but, you know, I don't know what it is about Facebook Live. People are committing suicide on Facebook Live, they're committing murders on Facebook Live, they're uh, assaulting people, they're raping people. Is it something about Facebook Live that makes people crazy? I don't know. You tell me. Put a note down there in the comments and let me know what you think, because I just don't understand this. I don't see anybody doing this on any other platform. Uh, so, you know, got, got me, man. I'm just uh, at a loss. So, if anybody's got any ideas, just uh, say something down there in the comments. and Maybe we can figure this thing out. Um, now, the next story here is New York Eyes Text Analyzer to Combat uh, Distracted Driving. A man's 19-year-old uh, son was killed in a car that he was a passenger in because the driver was texting and driving, and they got into an accident, and he was killed. Now, um, the man tried to get information about the data that was on the driver's cell phone to see if uh, his cell phone was actually the cause of the accident, and it took a bunch of uh, court filings, and six months, and he finally got the information, and yes, the driver was texting at the time of the accident. So now they're wanting to get uh, some laws passed where they can use a device that can be uh, connected to the phone to get that data right away um, so that they can finish the investigation as quickly and as efficiently as possible. But um, what do you guys think? Do you think it should be made available that they can get the data off these phones right away without having a warrant or anything? Uh, privacy issues come to matter, but, um, but um, 
you know, uh, seems like texting and driving is getting to be a, a real epidemic. And people just don't think, you know, they think they can make a quick text and they won't have their eyes off the road that long. But, you know, it's not that easy. I don't use my phone when I'm driving. If I get a call, I'll wait till I get to my destination to get the call. Uh, the only time I use my phone in the car really is uh, I connect it to my stereo in the car and play my playlist that's on my phone. I don't need my hands for that. I start that before I even start driving. So I let that play when I'm driving and I don't have to touch my phone. So, you know, that's that's the thing. So what do you think? Do you think this should be made available or do you think it uh, creates too much of a privacy issue? But either way, something's going to have to be done about this. I had an idea that maybe they could put a uh, circuit into a phone uh, that had a motion sensor that would disconnect the phone from the internet uh, if the phone's going faster than 5 or 10 miles an hour. Uh, you think that might be possible? Let me know. Yeah. Put some comments down there and we can talk about it. Uh, and then uh, the next story here is uh, Global cyber attack hits 150 countries, Europol chief says. The worldwide ransomware attack hits 200,000 victims in at least 150 countries. The head of the Euro Europe's cross-border police agency said Sunday, at the full extent of the cyber attack becomes clear. Yeah, now... It started out as 76 countries, and now it's up to 150, and they're attacking hospitals and doctors' offices and things of that nature. And it did come into the U.S., but I read an article where um, computer researchers were ever able to find the kill command of this um, virus and shut it down before it did uh, uh, much harm here in the U.S., but other countries haven't been that lucky and it's been reported that uh, because of this outbreak of this uh, ransomware it could cost m uh, billions of dollars before this is all taken care of and like I've said before when they catch these guys they should arrest them as terrorists because that's what they are they're terrorizing people they're uh, endangering people's health when they attack hospitals and doctor's offices and clinics like this. So when they do finally catch them, they should just treat them like they would any other terrorist. What do you think? Do you think I'm too harsh with that? But, you know, when, when you go after people's health care like that, that's a, a real problem. Next uh, article here is... Um, 14-year-old becomes youngest to graduate Texas Christian University. A 14-year-old physics major became the youngest person to graduate from Texas Christian Saturday. Uh, Carson Huey Yu was among more than 2,000 students getting degrees at the Fort Worth School founded in 1873. He started at TCU in 2013 when he was 11 and also holds minors in Chinese and math. Now this is a one smart kid, 14 years old and already uh, has a physics degree and minors in Chinese and math. Wow. Uh, you know, that takes a lot of effort and <clears throat> I read this article here and uh, he it was a lot of pressure for him. He was worried about getting bad grades and things of that nature, but uh, he stuck it out, and he kept going, and he got through it, and uh, I know his parents are proud of him, and it's just really something to, to do that at 14. Congratulations. And uh, that's all the articles I have for you today. I uh, hope you like my video, and if so, please give me a thumbs up. And also please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And please check out my social media sites, G+, Facebook, and Twitter. And uh, 
if you missed yesterday's vlog, just click on the image there. And also, please check out my website, the Chuck Baker homepage at chuckbaker.org. Till tomorrow, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.